All right. Hey, guys, it's Will. Hey, I came across this article when I was doing some research, and it kind of hit me as being a good message to send out there to all you guys for the holiday season, and it sort of uh, hit me uh, in, in the heart. I don't know. Uh, you guys may not care for it, but uh, there is a message in it, so it's kind of a lengthy message, so I'm just going to read it for uh, word for word. And hope that you guys enjoy it. It's my my way of giving you a holiday message from me to you. Now, this is a letter that a crazy horse, which is a famous Indian. Some of you guys may know him. Some of you guys may not know him. But he was incarcerated after he was uh, picked up uh, from uh, out on the plains. Uh, trying to fight for the freedom of his his family or his his people so i uh, this is a letter that he was writing while he was incarcerated waiting to uh, go to trial and face uh humiliation in front of his people and it goes something like this so this is my holiday message from me to you the year of 2019 is coming to a close, and with it comes the day most Americans set aside as a day of Thanksgiving. As I let my mind wander beyond the steel bars and concrete walls, I try to imagine what the people who live outside the prison gates are doing, and what they are thinking. Do they ever think of an indigenous people who were forced from their homelands? Do they understand that with every step they take, no matter the direction, that they are wait, walking on stolen land? Can they imagine, even for one minute, what it was like to watch the suffering of the women, the children, and the babies, and yes, the sick and the elderly, as they were made to keep pushing west to in freezing temperatures and with little food or, or little or no food. These were my people, and this is our land. There was a time when we enjoyed freedom and were able to hunt buffalo, gather the foods and sacred medicines, that we were able to fish and we were enjoyed the clean water. My people were generous, and we shared everything we had, including the knowledge of how to survive the long, harsh winters and the hot, humid summers. We were appreciative of the gifts from our creators and remembered to give the gifts from our creators and uh, thanks on a daily basis. We had ceremonies and special dances that were a celebration of life. With the coming of the foreigners and to our shores, life as we knew it would change drastically. Individual ownership were, was foreign to my people. Fences, unheard of back then. We were com communal people and we took care of each other. Our grandparents weren't isolated from us. They were the wisdom keepers and the storytellers that were a, an impressive link in our families. The babies, they were and are our future. Look at the brilliant young people who put themselves at the risk of fighting to keep our water and environment clean and safe for the generations yet to come. They were willing to co confront the giant multinational corporations by educating the general public of the devastation being caused. I smile with hope when I think of them. They are fearless and ready to speak the truth to all who are willing to listen. 
We also remember our brothers and sisters of Bolivia who are rioting in the support of our first indigenous president, Evo Morales. His commitment to the people, the land, the resources, and the protection against corruption is commendable. We recognize and identify with the struggle so well. So today, I thank all the people who are willing to have an open mind, those who are willing to accept the responsibility of planning for the seven generations ahead, those who remember the sacrifices made by our ancestors so we can continue to speak our own language, practice our own way of thankfulness in our own skin, and that we always acknowledge and respect the indigenous image that we carry. For those of you who are thankful that you have enough food to feed your families, please give to those who aren't that fortunate. If you are warm and have a, a comfortable shelter to live in, please give to those who are cold and homeless. If you see someone hurting and need of a kind word or two, be that person who steps forward and lends a hand. And especially when you see injustice anywhere, please be brave enough to speak up to confront it. I want to thank all who are kind enough to remember me and my family and are in your thoughts and prayers. Thank you for continuing to support and believe in me. There isn't a minute in any of our day that passes without me hoping that this will be the day I will be granted freedom. I long for that day when I smell the clean, fresh air, when I can feel the gentle breeze in my hair, the witness the clouds as they are, as they are movement in the skies and the sun and the moon shines the light on the path to the sacred inapi. That would be truly be the day I could call a day of thanksgiving. Thank you for listening to whomever is my voice in my words. My spirit is there for you. And it says Dashko Dashka Dash Daksha in the spirit of Crazy Horse. And so that is my message to you over this uh, Thanksgiving holiday and going into the Christmas season is if you see anyone in need, please take the time to uh, give them a helping hand. If they don't have a roof over their head, make sure that they go and have a roof over their head. If they don't have a meal to eat, make sure that you uh, give them a hot meal or give them the money they need to go get a hot meal. We, this is the season of giving. For, uh, remember where, you, uh, where we are in this life. Uh, time is short. As you can see from Crazy Horse here in this letter that he wrote while he was incarcerated. He was still dreaming of making, making people happy. Not just his own people, but other people as well. So this is my message from me to you for the holidays. I hope you enjoyed the story. It really touched my heart, and that's what made me decide to do this holiday message for all my people out there watching this. So I want to wish each and every one of you guys a happy and prosperous Thanksgiving. Go ahead and have a great holiday going into the Christmas season. Without any of you guys, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So I wanted to make sure that I gave a message directly to you guys, the ones who got me where I am, and for me to be able to give back to you in some way a thoughtful and happy message of the holiday season. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys out there. Please have a happy and safe Thanksgiving.